Hey, Kyle Pepper with the Pepper Team here with another uh, month update for the South Central Kansas MLS home sales in figures for the month of the month, the month, month, the month of March, month of March, 2024. Uh, I'm just going to briefly go through some of these things um, as far as highlights and even compare them to what we saw in February of this year. So without further ado, let's get started. So home sales in South Central Kansas fell by a 9.7% in March compared to the prior year. So the prior month was 1.9% decrease. And that was year over year. So we actually saw a pretty big dip at almost 10% year over year. Um, that's pretty significant, especially in a March time in which March is usually heating up a little bit going into April. April heats up yet into May. So we start to see these things usually increase during this time, and this decreased a significant amount. <clears throat> so 9.7% decrease. Um, again, among existing homes, 646 units sold in March, decrease of 8.2% from 704. So another decrease in units sold year over year. Um, this is also very significant, $229,000 average sale price March 2024, which is an increase of 6.8% from March 2023. So year over year, it went up 6.8%, but month over month in February of 2024, it was actually just about the same. So the average sale price in March 2024 was 229000 So month over month, not too much of a significant uh, increase, but the year over year is still pretty darn big, 6.8% increase. New construction, um, another decrease, almost 20% 20, 20 average sales price of new homes up again, 4%. So a total of 932 contracts for sale were written in March, 2024, up from 855. So that's plus it's at least an uptick in that area. But here's a big one, the inventory. So the inventory of active listings stood at 1300, which is up from 1059, which is still 1 1.7 months supply, which has been, I think for the past two to three months in February, it was 1.7. I'm pretty sure in January it was 1.7 or at least 1.6 or 1 1.8 is hovering around 1.7, which is still like half of what our even normal supply is. So we're still low on supply. That's why the price is increasing, even with a higher interest rate environment. Let's look at some of these numbers. So that 1.7 number, good thing get more listings coming up, which is fantastic. Obviously these things are going down as far as closed listings, but here's this, this was, I think probably about 11. No, actually just in February, the median days on market was 12, which was at that time up 50% year over year. This is eight. So even the median days on market, went down as eight and is up 33%. So things are lasting a little less on the market, even though sales are, well, sales are going down. Sales are going down. Median days, well, I'm sorry, are also going down. And average price is going up. So there's my two cents in regards to this. I think we're still going to keep continuing to see this. I think I'm very interested to see what April um, is bringing because I think what we are seeing is that there has been a huge uptick at the beginning of April 
um, in everybody's business and all, a lot of activity in regards to new active listings that are coming up. Then they're all getting sold in a weekend and then the next round is going to be up. So I think April is actually going to be a huge increase in activity and probably um, in this particular area, whenever we're saying a total of how many contracts for sale were written, I bet it's going to be, that's going to be a big uptick for April. And I hope that this goes up. I don't know, but I'm hoping it goes up with more activity. It may could stay the same or go down, but that's my prediction for April. Let's see that go up. Thanks for tuning in. Any questions, comments, concerns, gripes, or praises? Leave them in the comments below or just leave them to yourself. See ya.